Memphis in the spring of 1968, a time when African Americans couldn't go in the front door of the Peabody. They had to sit upstairs at the old Malco Theater of what is now the Orpheum. I refused to go upstairs to sit in there with the rest. And we couldn't come down to the front. Even if you want to order something, you had to come downstairs and order from outside. Main Street was different. The plaza wasn't built, and the trolley line had yet to be installed. The street was ruled by white men. And a lot of people don't want to tell the truth and live with the history. But I just tell the truth like it was, you know. I can't fabricate history. That's the way it was. There was little a colored college kid could do to change that on his own, but 19-year-old Willie Moore knew help and hope was on the way. So Dr. King changed a whole lot in this city. I think he changed not just the minds of white people, but he changed the minds of black people. At the time Dr. Something Martin Luther King Jr. came to world. Memphis in 1968, death threats were a routine part of his day. Willie still wanted to get as close as he could. That was me, Willie Moore. In the flush. Before the chaos, looting, and a 16-year-old getting shot and killed by police on March 28, 1968, Willie walked step by step down Main Street with the King. This iconic picture was snapped near Beale Street. We wanted to offer him some protection, so to speak. That's what we were hoping, you know, if anything happened, we could shelter him, give him some protection. An incredible foreshadow Dr. King would realize just days later. <laughs> But what that march did for Willie was shape his path in life. In 1968, the thought of a black man owning a restaurant on Main Street was inconceivable. Not then, not that time, that's karma. That's karma and God. But Willie used the lessons he learned from Dr. King to stand up for what he wanted. In the 1970s, Willie owned a successful chain of grocery stores and eventually bought this restaurant on Main Street just blocks away from where this picture was taken 50 years ago. Willie Moore came from South Memphis. Uh, from walking around barefooted with no money, no shoes on. And now Willie serves people of every race in a restaurant at one time he wouldn't have even been able to get into. Willie is still on Main Street and the world is no longer in 1968. Reporting in downtown Memphis, Jim Spiewak, Fox 13 News.